We're just gonna do a quick unboxing. The Escape Flip Keyboard Stand Pro. This is the Pro version. Has uh, four different levels of uh, lifting your keyboard up for comfort. Um, this works for just about any keyboard. I'm gonna be using it on the Apple Magic Keyboard with numerical pad, um, and it does extend out. Um, you can kind of see here the different how it extends for custom fit. It's got the sticky gel on the bottom to, uh, to stay put. Um, and those are your instructions on how to put it on. And there you go. That's all in the back there. So let's open this guy up and take a look at what comes inside the box. And here you go. Here you go. Now they do include inside the box a few of these extra little feet grip just in case you need them. So it's nice that they include that in the box as well. And this is the grip itself. Or not the grip, but the stand itself. And it extends. You've got your gel pads here to make sure it stays put to your keyboard. I've got to read the instructions so I know how to extend it. Um, but here are your different levels. You can see you've got these different levels. You've got four, three, two, and then one. And they all have these little rubber feet so it won't slide around on you uh, once you put it on there. So let's uh, go put this on my keyboard. All right, so here we have my Magic Keyboard. This one I'm going to be using the... Uh, Pro Escape Flip keyboard stand on. I'm going to turn that over so we can put that on the back. And uh, this is the stand. I'm going to pull this out to the farthest it'll go. Uh, you want it to be pretty much as wide as what will fit. This is as wide as it goes. And this is a very long, wide uh, keyboard. So I want to use it at its widest so that it gives good support. Um, the other thing it lets you know on the uh, box here is that you want to make sure you uh, have it within one inch of that edge. Obviously, the closer you have to the edge, the less, the lower the angle is going to be, and the closer, further down you have, the greater the angle. But if you go more than an inch, then it might not support the keyboard the way you'd want it to. So you don't want to go more than that. Uh, so I'm going to uh, kind of align it and position it right by where these feet, little rubber feet, are here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this uh, with the alcohol mist and just clean it off with like a this is a glass cleaning cloth because I want to make sure it's nice and clean so that the keyboard stand when I put it on there so that it stays on well make sure there's no dust uh, getting in the way of it sticking the way it's supposed to it is a gel sticky it's not like harsh adhesive it's a gel uh, pad that will stick to the keyboard so it can be removed and repositioned and you can even rinse it off if it starts to lose its stickiness and uh, it will help it regain its stickiness. So that's a good thing to know. In case you mess up, you're not stuck. Uh, you can uh, redo it without any issue at all. So we're going to take off the film off of these gel pads. See there. Now this is going to be a little tricky for me because I'm doing this around a camera. So if I bump the camera, I apologize in advance. I'm going to try not to do that. Just want to make sure that I get it lined up just right. I think that's where I wanted it. And then push that pad down. And yeah, that's good. See, we can see it's already stuck. I'm lifting the whole keyboard by this. Of course, it's a lightweight keyboard. And uh, it's already got now a natural uh, incline just based on that. And then, of course, you can get more by lifting those legs up. So now I'm going to go uh, put it in use with my uh, computer and uh, we'll check it out and I'll do my final review. Okay, so I have. Uh, been using the flip keyboard stand and uh, this is it this is it on my keyboard 
Um, I'm using it at the lowest, as you can see. I just have all the stands pushed down. It's the angle that I like. Now, one thing I have noticed is that uh, because this is on there, these rubber grips don't really touch uh, because this lifts it at too much of an angle for them. So that's why I have this uh, mouse pad underneath here. So I have this mouse pad uh, so that the front sits on that. And the back is still lifted up, it's still at an angle. That front being on there just gives it something. So if I didn't have that, I would probably have to get some type of additional uh, maybe rubber things to go on here to make this a little bit more rounded and thicker so that it would grip on the front. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, if I was doing this at a steeper angle, that might be less of an issue. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Uh, but I needed, definitely needed something. But once I put that mouse pad under there and then the, the angle, it's not a huge angle, just a slight angle, uh, as you can see, but uh, angled enough and left it up enough to be much more comfortable typing for me than it was when it was just laying flat. So I love it, and I love the fact that I could adjust it, you know, easy to adjust if you, if you want it higher, you know, you want to go higher, it's easy to take it higher. I could take it up to the next level if I wanted to. Let's take it up just one notch, just so you can kind of see what that might look like. So that's at a much steeper angle. And uh, again, still uh, have that mouse pad under there, but uh, maybe you wouldn't need that at this angle. But yeah, I just think it's much more comfortable to type like this with the keyboard a little bit of angle. And this gives you that angle. And I love the fact that you have so many different angles to choose from with this particular uh, attachment. So works really great for the Magic Keyboard or any keyboard and uh, definitely a product that I would recommend. That is going to be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in this product, share this video with them. All the videos are down there. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Don't forget to favorite this playlist or subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with future product reviews. And that is going to be it. Until next time, so be safe and be happy.